Hey guys, it's Nick with Armament with a quick update on our Rare Breed FRT trigger bar. What this is, is this is our, I don't know, our second or third prototype so far. What we wanted was a complete drop-in trigger bar that addressed three major issues that you may or may not have with, with Rare Breeds and with just this type of trigger in general. The first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to be able to have an adjustable trip location. There's really no way to, to make all these platforms work with the factory trigger bar and the carrier hitting the same spot every time. The only way I've fixed these is either machining the face of these trigger bars to remove material or something like this where it's a set screw that literally gives you that freedom to adjust it. This set screw allows about a hundred thousandths of adjustment. You can retard that timing to the point where the carrier doesn't even trip it and then you can back it in from there to fine tune it so you don't get that hammer follow uh those dead triggers that most you know very frustrating a lot of people are having the second thing this this trigger bar eliminates is if you can see this or not completely gets rid of that spring location what i did and you can see it in the pictures i'll post as well is the spring is now located in the trigger bar assembly fully self-contained no kinking no anything no modification to the trigger housing no modification to the trigger bar because this trigger bar is now a self-contained unit the other thing that we had a problem with with the first couple prototypes is wouldn't allow the upper receiver to close because this sear trigger bar was already in location where it needed to be when your carrier was forward what this trigger bar addresses is we gave it another axis of movement when you close the upper it actually pushes the entire trigger bar assembly down. As soon as you rack the, the action, it pops up into location and then it presumes its normal operation. So this trigger bar addresses three issues. It gets rid of the original spring issue. It allows you to fine tune and adjust your hammer release and your trip location really take care of those dead triggers light primer strikes and hammer follow the other thing it does is uh it does allow the upper and lower to close and it's also a complete drop-in unit the plan is to offer this trigger bar as an assembly that you can install yourself um, there's no modifications to the trigger it's pop the roll pin out put the new trigger bar in put the new uh pin in get your adjustment where you want, and you're good to go. It addresses all three major issues that uh, that we work on in these FRTs for the last year in one component. So stay tuned, guys. Hopefully you get it out soon. Thanks.